It's never too soon to start thinking about summer. Another Salesforce release is approaching, which means a whole bunch of new features and functionality to play around with. I'm Christine Marshall, Courses and Community Director here at Salesforce Ben. Our mission is to help you advance your Salesforce career. So whether you're just starting out or have a few years under your belt, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our extensive resources on salesforceben.com. Stay tuned for my top 10 hottest release features for Salesforce admins. The premise of Dynamic Forms is to create user-centric, intuitive page layouts that display the right information at the right time. You can display and hide fields and field sections dynamically based on the criteria that you determine. Really exciting that this feature is now available for mobile in beta. Interested to learn more about Dynamic Forms? Then check out my full guide. You'll find the link in the video description. Sometimes it's the smallest enhancements that make you swoon. The ability to align fields horizontally is my favorite new feature. This change horizontally aligns fields with their neighbors in the same row, improving the look of pages. In this example, the image on the left is without alignment and the image on the right is with alignment. Notice the spacing and alignment of the phone field. And finally, the accordion and tabs components are now available for app pages. These can help you better organize and improve page performance. This change was announced in Spring 23, but is enforced in Summer 23. The update limits the number of inactive picklist values in a custom picklist field to 4,000. Previously, you could remove the limit. However, in this release, the ability to remove it has been stopped. You can now manage and update the picklist values for the salutation field in Lightning Experience. Previously, you had to switch back to Salesforce Classic to modify them. Summer 23 adds a new option to the salutation picklist. The MX salutation is now available by default. As the admin, you'll need to update the picklist to make this new value visible to users. My second favorite new feature has to be the ability to add rich text fields and images to dashboards. Such a simple change, but it helps create stunning, informative, and engaging dashboards that are bound to impress your users and key stakeholders. Increased user adoption and engagement? Yes, please. To get started, click the plus widget and select the type of widget to add when editing a dashboard. Unfortunately, this is only available in unlimited edition. Users of a limited edition can also add up to five filters on a lightning dashboard. Previously, they could only add three. I don't know about you, but I would love to see these options become available for the rest of the Salesforce editions. Please Salesforce. Using the post to Slack option on dashboards, you can share Lightning dashboards in Slack. Recipients can view dashboards, share, subscribe, and open a dashboard in Salesforce. Setting field level security for a field on permission sets is now generally available. The update also provides an enhancement that enables you to see each permission set's object permissions for the field's object without leaving the page. Delegated admins get even more capabilities with the ability to manage the assignment of permission set groups for users in their delegated group. Reports from the user access and permissions assistant now contain key details, including users' titles, profiles, and whether they're active. The performance of these reports has also been improved for orgs with a high number of users. The user access and permissions assistant app was created by Salesforce and is available on the app exchange. The app is designed to help you analyze and report on permission assignments, as well as providing an easy wizard to manage permissions. User access policies allow you to declaratively define access for groups of users in a single operation. For example, you could specify a group of users to grant or revoke access to permission set licenses, permission sets, permission set groups, and more. With the Summer 23 release, you can now automate your users' assignments to manage package licenses, permission sets, and other access mechanisms based on criteria that you define. These policies can be applied or automatically when new users are created or existing users updated. Supercharge your related lists and delight your users by streamlining the actions available and adding quick actions directly to related lists. 
These changes mean that your users can create related records for items in the list without leaving the page, as well as performing mass updates to up to 100 records. When using the Related List View All page, you can also expect greater performance, as this page now renders using Lightning Web Components instead of Aura. Salesforce is retiring the existing email editor and moving to a feature-rich HTML text editor that's packed full of exciting features. The Lightning Editor is an open beta in summer 23 and contains tons of functionality. While on the subject of emails, there's a brand new flow to help your service agents link contacts to cases in email to case. To use this feature, find the flow template called Find Contact for Associated Case from Email to Case and add it to the Actions and Recommendations component. Einstein Search gets two notable updates in the Summer 23 release. You can configure both searchable objects and pick lists, ensuring that users get the most relevant results. Both of these features are in beta. The calendar has received a multitude of enhancements to maximize your productivity with the Summer 23 release. These updates include the ability to view up to 500 events, enable events for up to 50 shared calendars and resources, drag events to reschedule, click an event to preview instead of hovering, view overlapping event tiles, expanded text, and shaded coloring for dates in the past. Another productivity enhancement is the ability to view your calendar with a single click without interrupting your current work on the screen. In-app guidance just got even better with the ability to provide even more clarity by targeting specific fields. Next, let's dive into the plethora of updates for pipeline inspection. As of March 2023, you can access Pipeline Inspection in Enterprise Edition without the need to purchase an add-on license. Users can also benefit from more inline editing on opportunities, for example checkbox, email, phone and URL fields. View even more pipelines, including those of Opportunity Team and cross-functional team members. In sad news, the news, automated account fields and automated account logo features are being retired in all Salesforce orgs in winter 24. I was a big fan of these features, so I'm very disappointed. Once the features are retired, Salesforce will no longer prompt users with suggestions for account names and doesn't fill out the fields or add company logos automatically. The news component will also be removed from page layouts. That concludes our top 10 hottest features for Salesforce admins from the Summer 23 release. We hope you enjoyed it. There were so many amazing ones to choose from. Did we miss any out? What are you most excited about? Don't forget to let us know in the comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content just like this.